last video, we went ahead and changed the intercooler setup and installed a 2 to 1 steering quickener in the all-wheel drive Miata. Unfortunately, after a test drive, it became clear that the 2 to 1 steering quickener was way too quick and caused the steering to be way too heavy. So I went ahead and purchased a 1.5 to 1 steering quickener in hopes of fixing that issue. And now we are back. Here's the steering quickener that was way too fast and here is the new one. If you're not blind, you'll realize that these are very different looking. And unfortunately, that's because they are different steering quickeners. I thought they offered both the two to one ratio and the 1.5 to one ratio in the same steering quickener, but I was wrong. It's the same brand. This is the heavy duty steering quickener. That's a two to one ratio. And this is the basic steering quickener that is the 1.5 to 1 ratio. You'll notice that this one is longer. The input and the output are different heights and the mounting locations are different. Whereas this one is symmetrical, input output the same, mounting right in the middle. But that's pretty much the only difference. Supposedly this one is heavier duty. I don't really know what that means. This one actually feels much smoother, so I am excited about that. Unfortunately, since that steering quickener is new and very different, we have to redo everything. New mounts, gotta modify the steering shaft again, gotta paint everything again, but hopefully this one will feel better. Hopefully it'll be easier to steer since there's less leverage, and hopefully it won't be too quick, but it'll be quick enough. Either way, let's go ahead and get started. Also, don't forget on eminventory.com, you can buy a shirt and get a free sticker or free air freshener with a purchase of any shirt. All you gotta do is head over to eminventory.com, put a shirt in your checkout, and when you're checking out in the special notes column, specify whether you want a free built sticker or a free air freshener. And if you want an air freshener, let me know which air freshener you want. It definitely feels better. It feels less uh, less stiff for sure. It's a little smoother. Steering is still pretty quick. It's seeming like it's about 360 degrees from straight to full lock one direction. But as long as it's smooth and I can feel everything well, then I think we're gonna stick with it. So I'm gonna go ahead, pull it all apart, fully weld it up, and hopefully we're good. steering quickener is in. I had to move the steering wheel on the ground to get it adjusted and it already feels much less heavy than the other one. So I'm excited. Also apologies for this exceptional lighting. I have to have the garage door closed because there is a hornet's nest on my neighbor's garage door and the hornets are flying around everywhere. Somebody is coming to remove the hornets tomorrow so the lighting will be better in like a minute. Anyway, let's start it and let's drive it. I want to feel it. All right, I'm gonna drive around a little bit, let her warm up, 
then I'll give her the beans and see if I die. Already, it uh, it feels actually really good. It feels uh, about what I want. Steering is quick, not too quick. Okay, all right, all right. Let's see here, that's 360 degrees, almost exactly to full lock. So it really isn't that much slower uh, than the other quickener. I'm not looking for it to drive like super amazing because it did it before. I'm looking for it to not feel like I'm gonna die if I put any sort of input into the steering. The car needs an alignment. The car needs some suspension changes. I wanna add sway bars and all those things will help make it feel safer at high speeds on tarmac but obviously i don't want to do those things if i have to switch a rack or something like that so if this turns out to be decent then we can get an alignment and change the suspension and add the sway bars yada 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 <laughs> without the quickener, but I did it, and I didn't die. I think that's uh, acceptable. So now that we have the steering quickener all sorted and that's working as good as we can hope for, it's time to do some suspension stuff. More springs. <laughs> Originally, I wanted to get a pair of front WRX Rallycross coilovers, but they're really expensive, and unfortunately, no company wants to sponsor the car because it would only be using half of their product, which makes sense. So, these are a set of standard height King Springs for the WRX struts we have in the car. Right now, it has a 1.5 inch lift spring in there, so installing these springs should lower the front by about an inch and a quarter. That will get a little bit of rake, so while we're in boost, it evens out instead of lifting up. Should make it a little bit easier to drive and should just make the car a little bit lower center of gravity. This is going to be like the fifth set of springs we tried because we had the Forrester struts with the Forrester springs and the Forrester struts with the lowering springs then the Forrester struts with the standard springs and then the WRX struts with the lift springs and now the WRX struts with the standard springs. Let's do it. Thankfully, it's easy. Here are our two springs. They're pretty much the same, just one's a little bit taller, one's got a little bit more preload. That's about it. Kind of hard to tell inside the shop because you can't get far enough away, but it's definitely lower and these aren't even broken in yet. It definitely has some break now as well. But I think that's, I think it's good. I think this is what we're gonna want and we can always lower the back more to even out the rake a little bit. Coilovers would obviously be more ideal because you can really dial in the height, the preload, the spring rate, all that kind of stuff, but for the price that we've paid, it's pretty good. Although, to be honest, if I would have just bought coilovers, a front pair of coilovers in the beginning, I would have spent the same amount of money because I've had to go through two different springs. <laughs> but oh well. Well, the exterminator came and removed the hornet's nest, but he didn't remove the hornets. So now there are just a bunch of angry hornets flying around 
trying to figure out where the hell their nest went. So it, the, the situation is actually worse than it originally was, but I'm assuming it will get better. First thing you notice, which I'm kind of surprised about, is the visibility is a lot better. Just lowering the hood just a little bit gave me a lot more view of what's in front of me, and it it's, it's good. If everything else didn't work with it, I would still keep it just for the extra visibility. I can see maybe two feet in front of the car now, whereas with the hood scoop and the raised hood, I can only see like 10 feet ahead of the car. So this is awesome. Wow, you know what? Having the lower center of gravity up front uh, makes it feel less sketchy too. I know you guys probably, I'm sure some of you are a little upset that we're lowering the Rally Miata, but this car is not a mudder or trail car anymore. This is a rally car. It's got too aggressive of an engine and all that kind of stuff to go mudding and trail off-roading. So we might as well try to make it do rally cross as good as it possibly can do. I'd love to actually get this car really dialed and be able to compete in Rallycross and Nationals and be able to win something in the future. Obviously, I'm not good enough for that now, but I'm excited. I, I'm excited for the new era of the Rally Miata. But man, this car has never felt this good. I can throw it around without being nervous. I can see. I've got quick steering. want to do besides this rear sway bar and alignment which I was talking about earlier so. Miata, which is awesome. So that is just so awesome. The car feels so much better to drive with the new springs and the steering. It's crazy. I really didn't think like the springs would make that much of a difference, but I've already talked about it. I already, I already talked about it. I'm just, I'm just so happy. I really love building cars, like doing this project at the beginning, you know, doing all the big stuff was really fun, but I love dialing in cars even more. For instance, when the drift truck was first finished, it sucked to drive. It had manual steering, which sucked. The suspension was crap, had leaf springs, had wheel hop. And when we kept doing stuff to it, and now it's freaking awesome. I love the drift truck. And this thing was better when we first finished it, because I've learned some things. Oh, shit. I think I just saw one of the Hornets come in here. But yeah, with a few things we have done since this thing got finished, it's already driving so much better, and I can't wait to make it drive even better. Next up is definitely the rear sway bar and the alignment. If you guys have any other ideas that we should do before the next Rallycross event, September 13th, then let me know in the comment section below. But yeah. You know, I didn't think this would make too much of a difference, but damn, that's gonna look sweet. But that's it guys. In the next video, we are going to completely finish the exterior of the Datsun, as well as totally finish the dash, install the new gauges, paint the dash, get that all sorted, and get the heater in there. And of course, you can watch that video right now if you head over to Patreon.